Welcome back to GD's 2 Peglin. It's been a hot minute since we've played this, and we're still continuing along down the road of trying to beat all the Crucibles, which we are, I believe, on Crucible level 3. Right now, we start with plus 1 Pebble, which is a minus 0, minus 1 type of rock. And then we go down the line, we have mini bosses can appear in random scenarios, as well as now Pegor headboards contain one less critical. Let's start. What do we need for a starting relic? Board will contain one additional refresh. Every seven collected grants a critical might not be bad. Start each battle with one minuscule. Grant all ores plus X plus zero. So all plus one damage in general. That's honestly not bad. But honestly, I think seven coins collected equals a grant. Uh, now let's go refresh. Refresh is probably gonna be the most helpful in like the long run. Just having the ability to, you know, just refresh the board more is gonna be amazing. Starting off, let's just go, go ahead and run on quick through these first few levels. Now we do start with pebbles, so I guess these now call pebbles, I thought they used to be just be called stones. Stones are a 2-3 type of rock. You know, maybe I should be a little bit more concise about where it is that I'm shooting these. <laughs> it's uh, not gonna lie, it has, it has been probably the better part of a few weeks since I've uh, played Peglin. Even just taking a look back at my old content, and since then there have been a number of updates. They've had a few good ones, and they added a couple of... Oh, and he's gonna survive with one health. They added a couple of new heroes, they added a couple of new relics, as well as they've added a couple of just changes in general, such as them being called pebbles now instead of rocks. And it's actually quite interesting, you know, there's a whole list of changes that I'll put on the screen right here, for you to go ahead and read and pause the video if you like, but they've made a lot of changes since then, and just, I'm kind of excited just to see exactly where these paths can lead. And this is already going off to a very terrible start. <laughs> I am down 18 health. I should probably be taking taking a lot more paying attention to this type of stuff. Uh, ball lightning, snap some digital, like every bounce and target an enemy. I think I really will go. I think I will. Yeah, the ball lightning seems like the most helpful right now. And even immediately, I'm just gonna go ahead and upgrade it. Oh, a little bit of a different UI change as well. Show all ore bubbles. Oh, now that's super helpful. So if you just press tab, it shows all of what it's gonna be leveling up to. I like that. Very nice. Let's upgrade and move on to the next. Looking at the map. We have a treasure chest on the right, then another battle, then we got a merchant. We could even save up a little bit of money off of that battle and remove one of the stones or pebbles. Go to the chest, move on down. We can take a couple more question marks, take the chest, a couple more question marks, another merchant. I think, let's go ahead and take this right-hand side. That seems to be the most beneficial to us. Post-battle healing is increased by 1% for each orb in your deck, plus 6%, not bad. At, collect every, every seven gold collected grants a crit. I think let's go ahead and take this one. I don't really do post-battle healing all that often, so I think it's a little bit better if we just go ahead and just take the extra crit chances, because then we'll just do more damage in general. The ball lightning is going to be the most beneficial to us. Yeah, look at that. Activating even several bombs already through the level. Beautiful. We could get a sphere, a highway or breed. Never seen this one. Can be upgraded any number of times to add plus one, plus two. Why don't we try the highway or breed? Let's do it. You know, although I, maybe I should have saved a little bit of gold for the merchant here. I can collect up a little bit of gold. Not sure if it's going to be enough. No, I need 30 to remove an orb. We're sitting at 23. That's all right. Still just a free level for us. Go ahead and get over to the chest. Get one for every hit while successfully navigating after battle. Now that could be pretty nice because that allows us with any four resistances. Yeah, you don't have that many resistances until like the second floor. And that's honestly not too bad of an issue. That's just like the shield. So healing one for every peg hit while navigating. That's going to help us not, you know, having to do any extra like post healing after each level spending gold on that we got a whole bunch of bats let's go ahead and discard one immediately again get through these pebbles as much as we can come on doesn't quite get the bomb but we should be able to get it next time we do manage to do enough to take out one of the bats nice i do manage to get the bomb which would be wonderful for us already it looks like it's just all gonna be bats so this is gonna be a pretty easy level just keep on trugging through only need to do 15 damage to these first ones and see if I can try to get to that bomb without hitting the refresh just barely oh not quite okay okay but we do still have a clean shot onto it we should be able to take out this first one no problem save ourselves a little bit of health they only have 15 yeah now there's gonna be a walk in the park we do want to maybe save ourselves a little bit of orbs for the post battle navigation because we are going to have to heal up a little bit. We're at 76 out of 100 health. But what do we want to do? A rub orb, a buck orb. Pegs hit when an orb makes contact with them. In most cases, orbs activate when pegs hit them. Grant three Borg every 14 of those hit. That seems kind of 
not excessive enough. <laughs> I mean, to put it simply, I feel like it should be more. So we can keep on upgrading this, huh? Show all orb upgrades, plus one, plus two, plus one, plus two, and they just keep on adding it, huh? So it becomes like a four, eight, level three. Let's go ahead and get, I think, yeah, three additional pecs every bounce. Let's go ahead and upgrade the lightning orb just to get it done and over with for now. And now because we have a, a number of leftover pegs, Oh, only managed to heal two, but a heal is a heal. I'll take it. Oh, what do we want? I don't know what that one is. Roundabout? Crit attack is fired backwards from behind the enemy? I guess I can see that working. You target an enemy in the back and then I guess you can just target anyone that you want. I mean, hey, whatever works. Let's see where we land. We managed to get it. A 2-4. I mean, that could be really good for some bosses to be real, but honestly, although I'm not, I almost would have preferred the hammer. I think we'll go ahead and skip. Take another relic. Your aim is longer and displays some additional bounce, which is amazing. Bombs activate nearby pegs when detonated. Ooh. I think I want the additional aim aimer, like just kind of, I mean, look at that. That allows you to see where you're going each time. That is amazing. I mean, how else can you really beat that? I'm not exactly sure which one I prefer at this point. I guess we're going to the right. I mean, I would like to get the merchant, but honestly, I feel like right now we just need more gold and wow, that's a lot of enemies, huh? I think I would have preferred the other direction now. <laughs> I think I would have preferred the other direction. Um, how do I change the targets? Can I just click on a target? Well, that is not my best shot, but it works. It works. So it looks like shift is the one that you can actually use to change targets. I wish I would have kind of knew that at first because we could have targeted the plant in the back. Saves themselves a little bit of health, but we do manage to get a couple of bombs off at the same time, which is fantastic. Honestly, if we manage to get a couple more down here, well, that's not helping. If we manage to get a couple more down here. Yeah, my, there we go. Yeah, there we go. A couple more beautiful takes them out. No problem. They do 50 per bomb, which is amazing. Or Brazen grants one minuscule pull for every 20 hit. Grant three self damage for every 20 hit. Nah, that sounds terrible. But, ooh, spend faction. A little bit of poison could be nice, but we're not exactly going for a poison build. Right now, I feel like I'm just kind of going for um, a surviving build. <laughs> but, you know, why not? Why not? We got it. We eventually plan to be removing some of these orbs anyway, so may as well just get it. We only have one choice to go through, so just take up as much health as possible. Healed 15. Beautiful. Now we're sitting at 93 out of 100. There he is. Now he's up in front. Go ahead and take him out. No problem. Yeah, now he's done for. Got a bomb and 72. 76. Applies one inspection. Attacks all enemies. Each turn enemies with spin fix lose 10 times the health. Ooh. Ooh. Attacks all enemies. That adds it to everyone. Now that seems amazing. I'm going to go ahead and even upgrade that immediately. Does that put to two? It does allow it to get to two. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to need to stack up a little bit of money and a little bit of health as well. So let's try to aim this to bounce down. Yeah, collects a little bit of gold. Heal 13. We're up to full. We're at 100. And we got another battle. Not bad. Not bad. Not too worried. Let's see if we take out these guys before they even get a chance to lay off their shots come on get in there get in there why can't i fire <laughs> i think it's because it's accidentally clicking on the targets above so now we're going to go ahead and discard this one get to our ball lightning get a refresh activate everything on the way nice get the other bomb beautiful now I should be able to hit this plant in the back very good very good now i wonder if i can somehow manage to set off one of these other bombs again because otherwise i will be taking extra damage from a little plant in the back not quite but this this here does allow to add poison to everything plus a bomb taken out no problem splash buckler orb orb i think we need to start saving up money we are a little saturated on our orbs no my boy father help how can you manage to not <laughs> how, how are you doing this to me knowing that you heal one how do you keep on landing <laughs> over there that seems almost impossible all right all right, well, this is not a, this is actually a pretty good start because what we want to do, go ahead and discard our first orb. We have the mold targeted and now the lightning, I believe, can target any enemy. Yep, over here on the left hand side can target any enemy. And look at that damage stack up. That is beautiful. Wow, already down to four. So I've got a quarter of his health down. Let's go ahead and take the crit. See if we can get ourselves over to the refresh. Aim this just properly. Maybe that'll bounce up into it. It did not bounce up into it. Unfortunate. So let's go ahead and just keep on discarding these or, or these stones whenever I can possible. 
We just want to move through them as much as, you know, as much as possible and quickly as possible. Stacks up a little bit of damage there. This does poison to everyone, which is fantastic because it even hits the target in the back, you know, the boss that we want to be taking out. And these do not seem to be bouncing very much. I guess we need more distance on it. Hit the refresh. There we go. That's exactly what we needed. Can't quite get on him. I don't want to do a reload because if I do the reload, they're all going to get free shots on me. So let's go ahead and just take a shot while we can. I do manage to activate one of the bombs. Now here he comes. Uh, do, 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 do. We don't have any crits in the way that we can manage to get. I guess we'll just go ahead and discard that one. Just go for standard damage and get the bomb while we're at it. Very nice. And now we go on to the all target orb, which is beautiful. It should be able to really help out. And I think that we do heal up to full after every after every like boss battle. So we should be fine after this being a little damaged. It's already down to 80. We don't have to worry about the tree at all. Let's see if I can go ahead and get the refresh with that lightning orb. Yes, I can. And that should be the rest of them that right there. Beautiful. Thing, you know, I'm not going for poison damage, but it's starting to look like I should really be going for poison damage because if we need to get 50 poison to unlock the very last, uh, the very last character choice. Yeah, let's just go ahead and upgrade this, get it done and over with. We don't want to waste 30 on doing that. Let's see if we get a chance for a merchant next time. We need to be removing some of these pebbles because we are being a little bit saturated on orbs. Weak magnetism to all the special pegs. Bombs and other bombs do two times the amount of damage, but that also includes me. Two times damage to enemies, though. I mean, I mean, the red orbs do not, or the red bombs do not differentiate between what is an enemy, what is an ally, because I also take damage from that. All orbs get plus two, plus zero, but boards contain one less critical. I mean, that's not too bad considering the fact that I don't really have any crit, like, dependent orbs, except, like, my crit ball, which is just one. I mean, crits are pretty good, but then more overall regular damage. I think overall regular damage seems pretty good, but let's see here. Regular pegs and bombs become weak magnets and refreshes and crits become strong magnets. I mean, that probably seems, I think let's go, let's go unpretentious pendant. I think more standard damage and everything's be a little bit more beneficial simply because we don't have a crit dependent build. Or rather what we should be targeting once we get done with this mission or, you know, this level, we want to go take a look and see what we have available to us for a pathing. You know, I just noticed for one less crit, does that mean that we have no crits on the map? I think that might mean that we have absolutely no crits because I'm not seeing any crits. I'm not, I'm not seeing any yellow pegs anywhere. 120 damage, not bad. And that affects it to everyone. So it hits all targets, which is honestly just a better version of a sphere because I mean, the sphere might do better damage overall, but the ability to hit all targets plus poison is probably a little bit more beneficial in general. Ooh, just a little bit less. Nice. Now that should take care of him. Come on, get down there. Go ahead and move off to the right. And if we are going to be moving off to the right, we have still a little bit of time before we ever get to one of the merchants. So let's go ahead and probably just, yeah, let's just upgrade our poison. We could upgrade again. But that's just a little bit of waste of money. Go ahead and aim to the right. Make sure that we land to the right. That is not the right, that is the left. That is the opposite direction of what I wanted. Well, I guess we are going this way now, did you deez? <laughs> that is, uh, that's a little uh, unfortunate. I really wanted to go to the right. I, I really wanted to go to the right. Oh, well, uh, go ahead and hit that bomb. Do manage to activate it, which is nice. 36 damage, not a lot, but enough. Managed to hit everyone there. They all take a little bit of poison damage and they're all gonna be dead next turn as well. Beautiful, get the refresh. Yep, they get out of there. Now we only got one unit left. Go ahead and just discard that one stone. Managed to get the refresh again. And now Ball Lightning has got this taken care of. Right? Ball Lightning does not have this taken care of. <laughs> Come on. There we go. The Dagor, which no crits on the map, managed to get rid of it. Go ahead and upgrade. Let's just start upgrading all these to get through it as much as possible. Heal up a little bit. Still managed to land in the fire, huh? Still heal up a little bit. There we go. Not bad. Really did not want it to go to the left. But hey, we get a relic choice. Start each battle with the mist girl. Attack supply blind. All attacks get more crit damage, but we don't really have any crits. So I guess our best chance is to go for the spiral slayer. Stay off to the left. Stay off to the left. Oh, 
I mean, sure. I mean, I don't know how efficient or effective that's really gonna be. We wanna go left, thank you. But it's something, it's something. It gives a chance for them to miss. Um, let's go ahead and get off the pebble. Go to our dagger. And I guess our best choice or best course of action is probably to take out this north part, this tip of the sword. So maybe gives a little bit of access down to the bombs there. Can't do any poison to those shields, but this, this our cauldron is going to be a beautiful choice here. If we can manage to bounce this down into those explosives. We did not manage to bounce them down into the explosives. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Come on, bounce down into the explosives. Into the explosives, get the bombs. Not quite working out well for us. I guess this is a little bit of a throwaway orb simply because we don't have any crits, but it goes straight into the shield regardless. And then let's go ahead and, come on, that should be able to get them, right? Yeah, got two of them. And then they'll take poison damage, right? No, I guess they already took poison damage this round. Discard one, not that we're really gonna need it. Let's get the bomb. Now that's it, now they're taken care of. One sit in the back, a little bit of poison damage. Get the refresh so we can hit more pegs on the way down. Beautiful. Upgrade and let's go for the Sphinx Venus Sting. All right, a little bit more of the same. A little fast. Let's actually slow it down a bit so that way I can see. I want to hit these bombs. Yep, just like that. Now speed it back up again. Yep, I bet I can do this at full speed, right? I can do this at full speed. I cannot do this at full speed. <laughs> Um, this is a 3-7, kind of pointless still, so go to the, yeah, the, the regular stones do more damage than our dagger ball. Honestly, might be more beneficial to get rid of the dagger ball before the stones. Get rid of that, go to the poison damage. Come on, come on, get one of the explosives. Yeah, beautiful. Let's see if I can actually, let's slow it down again, because we are going to want to try to hit one of these. There we go, nice. That should be able to actually take out most of them because now mixed in with our full attacks, all targets hit. Plus poison. Come on. Ooh, taking quite a bit of damage just from them being having ranged attacks. Surprising that they're, uh, they all have blind, but yeah, they're still surviving from the poison. There we go. I might honestly want to heal up for once, but a doctor deals no damage, heals you for each peg hit, can only be used once per battle. That does seem pretty beneficial, but again, I just don't, I don't need more orbs right now. Go ahead and upgrade this, and let's, yeah, let's spend a little bit on a heal. Why not? We got more than enough gold right now, because we haven't had the chance to really get to any of these merchants. Still gonna have another battle here, and then a question mark, so even that could even be another battle, if we're unlucky enough. Let's see if we can go ahead and get a couple of the explosives. These these blocks are a little bit dangerous simply because they have such so much movement range. Although luckily it does seem as though that one of them is, are, are already out. Get the bomb. Nice, come on, stack them as much as you can. Got two explosives. 58 damage. Oh, I could have swore that was, I could have swore wasn't that the one that was the cauldron ball? Oh no, I must've been looking at something different. All right, well we gotta move down to that point as much as possible. Off to our poison. Don't really manage to get any more explosives. This is a little dangerous. We're taking two hits per turn. Go ahead and discard that one. Get off to our regular orb, our highway orbery. 124, ooh, still going, still going. Not bad, 184, this does save us for a turn. Doesn't quite get the explosive, but honestly, that might be enough. That is enough. Fantastic. Gains one, plus one, plus two for every 25 held when fired. For every 20 held when fired. Oh, so right now it's a 710 because I have a lot of gold. I mean, that could be pretty useful, but I think I kind of want to go for another heal right now and another upgrade. Uh, let's just do the Highway Orbery and continue. You catch a glimpse of an internal peglin. It appears to be some kind of echo of its former self or of yourself. Yeah, let's upgrade an orb. Save us a little bit of gold. A 4-8. Beautiful. Echo imbues you with this remaining power before fading away. All right, we have got to get to this merchant. Wait for it, wait for it, and fire. There we go. What do we have? So let's go ahead and remove an orb immediately. The dag orb, yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of the dag orb. Funny enough, 
we can only do one remove orb. The board can contain additional crit. Well, that could have been a little helpful. Whenever the board is refreshed, deal damage to the target enemy equal to the number of pegs restored. Not bad. Activated refresh and crits contribute to damage. Increase your max health by 15. Well, I mean, we need, we have 50, we have 68 gold. If we take a look at the map, we are going to have one good battle before we get to the next merchant. So we may as well purchase at least one relic. What relic do we want? I think honestly, the refresh is pretty good. Whenever it gets refreshed, deal that damage to the target enemy. That's going to be our most beneficial. Now we're at 18 gold. Let's get off to this left hand side. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and bounce up this way. That way we make sure it kills all its momentum, stays off to this side. Beautiful. Get another crit or another relic here. Reduce self damage. Bomb steal plus 10 damage. Yeah, let's just do plus 10 damage. That's fine. Um, I mean, yeah, we just got to go on, on the left side. On to the battle. Got to save. make sure we keep 30 gold. Oh, wow. This is moving fast. Well, this can hit any target, so let's go ahead and hit the target in the back. We want to get that plant. And fire. Oh my god, look at that. That is some beautiful damage. Wow. Wow. Didn't even get the chance to hit the target that I wanted because it got killed by all the <laughs> by all the explosives. And let's just go to the one that can hit all targets. Yeah, look at that. Wait, did I manage to get a crit? Oh, a little bit of reflection damage. A little dangerous, but I think we'll take him out with this next hit. There we go. We have 65. If we spend 25, that's going to put us down to what? 40? Yeah, 40. So I think we can heal a little bit here and still have enough to remove an orb later on. And let's see if we can get a little bit of post healing. Not much. That's a little something. What was that, like six? Another relic, wall bounce to contribute to damage. Post battle healing is increased by 1% for each orb in your deck, plus 9%. That's pretty good, but because we are a little low on health, but wall bounces contribute to damage. I think it's be a little bit more beneficial at this moment, just simply because we don't have anything else going on. We don't have any post healing before the boss battle. And it costs 45 to remove an orb now? I thought it would move up by 10 each time. No, no. <laughs> Oh, not everything is going our way, but you know what? To be fair, that is just my own misknowledge of my own stupidity, not remembering how this works. It goes up by 15, not by 10. All right, on to the final battle. Guess we're not removing any orbs, you know, as much as we really need to. Um, starting off with a ball lightning is pretty good, honestly. I mean, that can stack up a lot of damage, allows us to do the most damage we can. Yeah, look at that, 128, I think that was. But dang, that does a lot. 30 damage in a single hit. That means that we can only take two more of those hits. We need to do 2,800 damage before we run out, before he's able to fire again. Get the refresh. Nice, not bad, not bad. Up to a 186, pretty good. Go ahead and get rid of that one. Ooh, I wish I had another discard at the moment. Can you get the explosives? Doesn't manage to get the explosive off, unfortunately. And we are going to have three stones in a row. That's now that's even more unfortunate. Still managed to stack up about 100 damage. Not bad, but going to have to discard this. Come on, get the explosives. Get, the, get one of the explosives. I'm going to need you to get one of these explosives, please. If you don't. Oh, OK, good. I can just go ahead and hit this one. I want to add as much poison as I can to the target. The more poison, the better. Yeah, I honestly don't know if I'm gonna be able to take this guy out in time. That is dangerous. Come on, come on, come on. Stacking up the poison is helping a lot, a lot, but I think this might be it, Digides. I think we're gonna die here on this second boss. Unless I can somehow manage to just stack up 1600 damage in a couple of turns. Um, do manage to get a couple bombs. Not quite a lot of damage though. I need to do 1300 damage in this single hit. Can I do it? No, I probably cannot. <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, that's 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 Peglin. That's us coming back to Peglin as expected. I, I I mess up a number of things here. You know, like I said, I haven't played in a couple of weeks or if not a few weeks. Um, You have unlocked in custom mode. Oh, unlock some custom stuff. That's pretty cool. But, you know, and not playing it for a few weeks, I think that wasn't too bad. Honestly, we, we do end up dying on the second floor boss, but uh, I definitely could have done the merchants better. And I feel like I messed up by 
taking on too many orbs and I probably messed up by getting rid of the crit. The crits are super nice to have simply because, well, it's doubling up your damage, right? You're not really doubling up, but you often do more damage, if not more than double by doing the crits. So yeah, thank you Digitees for watching the video. If you like this type of content, you know, leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below. And I promise the next time I do a Peglin video, we're going to be beating Crucible 3 and moving on to the next stage. So thank you Digitees. I appreciate all the support and I still don't know how to do these outros, but if there's one thing I can guarantee you. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.